A lot of players in Pokemon Scarlet Violet have been struggling with Herba Mystica. They've been feeling they need Salty Herbas because we got a recipe list that included Salty Herbas in every single one for getting the shiny sparkling power and the encounter power boost for level 3 for every single typing. Every single one of them required Salty and some of them required too Salty, but the odds of getting Salty are only 25% from some 5 star raids, not even all of them. So. You know, a lot of people are just no salties at all. And this was it. This was the list. So you can see salties in every single one, and a lot of them use two of them. And that's just not feasible. It's not practical for most people. But the good side of it was that you only got to use one other ingredient, which gave you a typing that mattered. Now, there's a new alternative to this. An alternative that will give you those same buffs, the sparkling power level 3, title power level 3, and encounter power level 3 for all 18 typings for any combination of two Herba Mystica. So you will not have to rely on salties. You won't even have to use any salties if you don't have them. And that's this list right here. This list will completely change the game for you all. However, it relies on more regular ingredients, but that's no problem. They're cheap, they're easy to get. The Herbas are stupid rare. So you're only gonna be able to use, uh, you're only gonna have to use any two of these herbas. They can be the two same spices, for example. You can use two salties if you want. You can use sweet and sour. You can use a sweet and bitter. It doesn't actually matter. You can use any two you want. But the rest of the ingredients are going to go like this. Your sandwich is going to contain a tomato, onion, green pepper, and hamburger always. Every single sandwich for every single typing. And then you're going to use two more of the Typing relevant ingredient. For example, for water here, cucumber. You want to use two cucumbers for ghost, two red onions. So if you guys are trying to do the flutter main glitch from my recent videos, let's show you how. So shout out for this method is going to go to Papa Jeff, Papa Jefe. Uh, we've had our beef in the past, but of course he's the one who found it. I'm not going to shy from the giving him the credit where it's due. So this is a better alternative to what we had with the previous list for Salty Herbas. Okay, so here we are in my game, and let's just pretend I don't have any Salty Herba Mysticas. I'm gonna show you my, sir, my Herba Mysticas right now. This is my collection of Herbas, right? So let's say I used all, all my Salty Herbas, they're gone. I'm gonna use spices, because I got eight spices. So I'm gonna go through some of my spices to try and keep a nice balance on my collection here, just in case. But it actually turns out it doesn't matter which Herbas you have now. So all of these, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 Herba Mystica here, and they are all the same. They, are all, they can all be used in the exact same way, however I want the, to use them. So this is super useful. The sandwiches do require a lot of the regular ingredients, however, and in order to find most of your regular ingredients and all the ones you'll need, I'll show you exactly where to go. In the north part of LaVinci City from that Poke Center, come down to this road here, and there's a supermarket which will sell almost everything you need. So we can have a look at the list you want to buy here. You can see almost everything you need is in here. The list is pretty extensive and it's pretty handy. The one thing that you're missing from this list, however, is hamburgers. So we also need to go somewhere else to buy hamburgers. Hamburgers can be bought in Porto Marinada over here on the far left, just as you're entering the market. This is the guy you want to speak to and you'll be able to buy a lot of cool other ingredients here that you wouldn't have been able to buy anywhere else. And of course he has hamburgers. So you'll be able to get your hamburgers, smoke fillets and other things there for different ingredients that you'll need for whatever typing you're going for. All right, so let's make a picnic and let's get the ghost level three encounters that I was doing for all of my recent videos there on the uh, infinite shiny spawn exploit. So let's go ahead and make a sandwich. Make a sandwich like normal. I'll actually get rid of the camera so you can see everything here. And we're gonna hit plus, like, sorry, no. And we're gonna hit X like normal for creative mode. Now, the formula, which you'll always have to do for every typing is a tomato, onion, green pepper, and hamburger, okay? And then the typing you wanna go for, as we saw over here, uh, I wanna go for ghosts, so I'm gonna use two more red onions here. All right, let's go do that. So two more red onions. One, two, there we go. And then that's filling up all of our ingredients there. So next I'm gonna go for any herbas. And since I have lots of spicy herbas, I'm gonna go for two of those because I don't wanna use up the only two that I have in the other ones. And again, you can mix. I can use one spicy, I can use one bitter, I can use one bitter, I can use one sweet. It doesn't matter at all. It doesn't make a single difference. So let's go ahead and hit plus next. I'm gonna use silver pick. Any pick doesn't matter. The picks don't matter at all. 
and then we start making our sandwich. Now this is where it takes a little bit more time because <laughs> you've got a lot of ingredients to shove on there, but you don't have to be too delicate about it. Just throw it on there uh, however you feel like. It's gonna come out the same way. Even if you miss a little bit, like whoops, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter at all. Let's just throw that on there and some, some green peppers. Okay, and hamburger. Throw that on there, and then tomato. This, obviously, tomato is gonna be like a little tricky here, that's fine. But yeah, as you can see how fast I just did that, let's throw the bread on and stick a pick, and there we go. That's gonna give me the level three title, encounter, and shiny sparkling power for ghost, all for ghost. So exactly as if I just used two salties, which I had to do up until now, and what you had to do as well, so <laughs> here we go. Let's eat it up and you'll see the title boost power come up at the top right in a sec. Right over the far, far right, top right. <laughs> Let's give it a sec. Alright, here we go. Tasty Blaine's original. Looks good. Actually doesn't look bad. Sparkling power, ghost level 3. Title power, ghost level 3. Encounter power, ghost level 3. Let's do another one just for the sake of showcasing consistency here. Let's make a sandwich. And this time, let's go for electric. And that requires, as we can see over here, yellow pepper. Two servings of yellow pepper, as well as the standard formula of the onion, tomato, and green pepper and hamburger, and then any two herbas. Let's have a look at doing that. So X for that. Uh, tomato, onion, green pepper, and hamburger. All the way down there. And then two yellow peppers for electric. One, two. And then any two herbas, this time we'll mix them up a little bit. Let's use one sweet, let's use one sour. And plus, and any pick will do. Okay. And we'll just throw them on there. Let's just start compiling these. We can actually mix it up a little bit more, just to show you that it can be a lot <laughs> messier than you might anticipate. And it doesn't really matter. Like, let's just throw that on there. The hamburger's like... There we go, look at this. Look how met look how look how atrocious this is. And you're still gonna get it, like. You do not have to be too careful here. <laughs> That's a perfect demonstration right there. Just chuck them on there. Mmm. It's a lot of yellow pepper. A lot of pepper, man. This is a peppery sandwich. Alright. <laughs> Stacking it up. That's everything. Let's throw the bread on there. Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's too tall, it's too tall, it just, it, def it phased through my camera, it's too close, despawned bread. Oh my god, it's actually full on despawned. What? Hold on. <laughs> Would this even work? I'm, I'm actually, I'm even curious. <laughs> Where's my bread gone? Hold on. Let me see what happens here. Can we even eat that? Just like, pick that up? Yeah, apparently, I mean, wow. Must be held by super glue. Healthiest ingredient. <laughs> it's good. It looks good. It, it's working. All right, let's see what we get as a boost here. I'm expecting all the electric ones. <laughs> Sparking power electric, tile power electric, catching power electric. Catching power. Oh no, not encounter. Oh, okay. So we messed it up a little bit, but we got we got catching power instead. But we still got sparking power. No, we really need encounter power. So let's try that again. All right, so after a little bit more testing on my own part, I noticed that catching power can come up sometimes, no matter how I've changed how I make my sandwich, no matter how neat I did it, no matter what pick I used, all the same ingredients still brought me to uh, the catching power instead. But it's not the primary ingredients. I believe that might be down to the herbas. So we're going to try the exact same ingredients, the standard for, as well as the double yellow pepper for electric and the hamburger there. And we're gonna use a different combo of two herbs. So you might be the case, guys, that sometimes a combination of two different herbs, which last time for me was sweet and sour, giving me catching power, you don't want to use. So we're gonna use sweet and bitter instead this time. And we're gonna use the silver pick, doesn't matter, on the pick. And then we're just gonna throw the stuff on our sandwich like before, it didn't make a difference. In that case, it seems like some things can despawn as well, some things can fall off and it does not matter. Uh, just as long as you have some of the ingredients on, I think. That's all that's really key here. But let's just throw them on there nicely. Yep, <laughs> one for the plate. Sacrifice for the gods. Alright, there we go. The tomato is gonna be an issue. <laughs> Alright, let's get some... Let's just stack the tomatoes right over here. You can build smart, guys. You don't even have to do this delicately at all. Build a bridge and the last green peppers. Some there. One there, 
I'm on there. Okay. And the bread. But because we have different herbs this time, it's not going to give me catching power. So sometimes, it seems like it's not 100% the case that you can just mix and match any two herbs. But most of the case, you're going to get what you want. You're going to get the herba, you're going to get the encounter power from any herbas. You're going to get the sparkling power every single time, no matter what. But you do want the sparkling and the encounter power together. The catching power is useless because you can use the duplicated master balls. You can use quick balls, dust balls, whatever. They're all really good in this game. So there's our mess of a sandwich. And what's key here is getting encounter power, which we did, sparkling and encounter. So it seems like sweet and sour might give you catching instead. So don't use sweet and sour combination, but it looks like almost any other combo of any two herbs. We didn't even use salty once. You will absolutely be able to get the two you want, sparkling and encounter, and even title, which is normal in these cases as well. So that's good. That's sorted. At least we got a little that, that little kink out of the way in this video so everyone knows what's going on with that. And if you do really want to get a 100% surefire rate for the sparkling and the encounter, you can go for even more different ingredients here, which this list will show you right now on screen. Feel free to pause. Feel free to copy it down for all the different typings. It will require one bitter and one spicy every single time. So that's pretty useful as well. Another alternative that does not require salty herbas. However, now you have a lot of power to guarantee. So despite the little hiccup earlier, we do have a 100% chance to get exactly what we want, sparkling and encounter, and even title power. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your shiny hunting. It's going to be a lot easier now for everybody to try and make their sparkling powers. You're not going to have to be too careful with your herbs and especially your salty herbs. Again, you will be absolutely able to throw in salty herbs. Of course, you're going to still get the same benefits, but now you can use much bigger combination of any two herbs in order to do this. So enjoy shiny hunting. Let me know how it works out, what shinies you get first out of doing this, and I'll see you around in the next video. Till then, bye.